Hello and welcome to Clan Macad. Today we're going to have a wee look at Boolean operations, just the basics, and we're going to see how they can help us in our 3D modelling environment. Now the term Boolean itself comes from the creator George Bull, and it's simply a logic system used by computers that uses true or false values, or 0 or 1 in binary, to determine an answer to a problem whether that be a search or something else. It can be used throughout computing applications. And the most common forms you'll find are AND, OR, and NOT. In CAD, Boolean focuses on the intersections or overlaps, if you will, between models existing in the scene. You apply a Boolean operation of AND, OR, or NOT to, say, two overlapping objects, and what will happen is the logic will define true and false values for where these objects overlap and then perform an action accordingly. Now let's have a closer look at how each of these actually work for us. So as we know so far we have OR, AND and NOT and each of these in CAD would normally be represented with something along the lines of UNION or JOIN, INTERSECT, SUBTRACT or CUT. So as I said in CAD we focus on the intersections, the overlap. So here's three sets of cylinders that all overlap in exactly the same way and we'll have a look at how each one applies its operation to the shape we have in front of us. When you apply a union or sometimes also called a join boolean operation, what will simply happen is the overlapping area will be removed and you will end up with both components joining together and becoming one solid object. Now using the original boolean term for union or join, which is or, it's simply saying that anywhere where the either or of the objects existed previously is now where the new shape will be and anywhere where they overlap is now where they will actually join together and, and fuse. Okay, so if we were to intersect for the next one or boolean and the two cylinders in the middle, what is going to happen is it's going to look for an area of overlap where both of the original components share the same space anywhere where they're overlapping or intersecting hence the name is what is going to be left over as the new shape so only where object a and object b both exist within the same three-dimensional space that is your leftover shape so last but not least we're going to have a look at subtract or boolean not and simply this one works by taking one away from the other hence the subtract name or in boolean terms where one currently exist it is not to exist in the original so usually they work in the order of the first one you would select is the one you're going to remove something from and then you're simply saying that the second object is where the first one should not have any you know full solid body and it's going to remove that portion where they overlap so for a little practical example we're going to make a little angle bracket out of a series of simple primitives starting with three boxes all to the sizes of the two plates of the angle bracket and the web that's to go through the middle then we're going to put these three together in position and union them together and then all we have to do is create cylinders that are the size and shape of the holes we're after and put them through the object and then apply a subtract to remove those spaces from it leaving behind the holes of the original sizes of those cylinders. So as you can see, we've made a component that is otherwise more complicated than the sum of its parts, quite literally, by using Boolean operations. So that was just a little introduction to the basics. However, just as a little side note, it's worth warning you at this early stage that some software, depending what you're using, will allow you to use Boolean on all modeling types. Some will only restrict it to solid. But just be aware of what one you're actually using, as solid models will allow you to, you know, remove a chunk and it will leave in inner surfaces and it will calculate it and figure it out, usually pretty nicely. Whereas some software using surfaces and meshes will remove material happily. Some won't let you do it at all, but some will remove it. Then you're left with this hollow interior with no perceivable thickness that you'll then have to do some additional modeling work to get it to look the way you're actually expecting. Okay, so that's the basics of Boolean operations. I hope this helps your ventures into 3D modeling. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.